The transfer rumours for our own players have begun. PSG are the latest side to be linked with one of our star men, Thomas Suchek. And this is not the only big club that have been sniffing around the services of Thomas Suchek. Bayern Munich and Barcelona have been reported in news outlets to be looking at Thomas Suchek. And to me... Is Thomas Suchek one of those kind of players? No, because when you analyse the Bayern Munichs of this world and the Barcelonas and the PSGs being the latest club, if you had to analyse Thomas, Suchek, Thomas Suchek's game, whilst he's been an absolutely fantastic signing for us in terms of breaking up play, scoring goals, his technical ability is probably not on par with some of the players that play at that football club. However, this is where West Ham need to stand firm because whilst PSG are not the biggest club in the world in terms of history, you know, they got bought by by the Saudis or the Arabs, and now they're one of the biggest powerhouses in world football, finishing in the Champions League final last year, they're in the Champions League semi-final this year. This is where we need to stand firm as a football club and be like, if you want Thomas Suchek, you're going to have to pay 100 to £150 million pounds because we know what this guy brings to our team. Before we signed Thomas Suchek, we've always spoke about you know Mark Noble losing his legs, Declan Rice needs someone alongside him that can help him, that... Declan Rice doesn't have to do all the defensive work. Now, Declan Rice knows that with Thomas Suchek next to him, he can have that little bit of license of uh, room to push forward and support attacks because he knows he's got the legs of Thomas Suchek next to him. And Thomas Suchek has also got license to move forward because he's got Declan Rice right next to him. And if we lose either one of those players, then our midfield core, along with our defensive core, is automatically downgraded a hell of a lot. Because right now, you could arguably say that our defence, our midfield duo with Rice and Suchek, we're on calibre or at the top in terms of you know competing with the likes of Tillemans and Ndidi. We are right up there in, term, in terms of those two being the best CDM partnerships in the Premier League. And this is where we need to stand firm and offer them a new contract. Do I believe Thomas Suchek is a £100 million player? No, he isn't a £100 million player. But for West Ham, and this is where, you know, it really gets gets on my nerves with op opposing fans and uh, pundits of this world that go, well, he's not worth £100 million. We know that Thomas Suchek is not a £100 million, player, if, £100 million player. If you look at the quoted £100 million players of this world at the moment, Jadon Sancho, Erlen Haaland, is he in that kind of fold? No, he isn't. But he is worth £100 or £150 million pounds to West Ham because if West Ham were to sell him to PSG for tomorrow for £150 million even with that money could we go and sign someone like Thomas Suchek who could come in for less money who is willing to join West Ham that re that could replace him or be as good or even better as Thomas Suchek there's not a CDM that would be willing to come to West Ham for under £150 million and be as good or better than Thomas Suchek. So this is where we need to stand firm. If we're going to move as a club, if we get into Europe the uh, Europe this season, and Europe is huge for West Ham. You know, I've seen some fans say they're not too happy if we drop to the Europa League, it's either Champions League or nothing. There'll be some fans who are like, well, you know, I don't, if we don't get the Europa League, then nothing. I don't want us to go into the European Conference League. However, guys, we need to look. If we're going to progress as a club, we don't really get into Europe often, you know, and to keep our big players happy. Declan Rice, you know, Declan Rice would walk into any top six league, uh, any top six club, top six club in this country. Probably the same with Thomas Suchek. Maybe not Manchester City, but any other club in, in this country, they probably walk into the midfield. And we're going to keep the likes of those happy whilst being able to pay them more, more wages and give them higher contracts. Then we need to earn more money through competing in new competitions, whether it is the Champions League, the Europa League, or the Europa Conference League. We need to build our reputation as a club to fulfil the promise, to, to fulfil the ambitions of some of these players. So we need to offer these new contracts to Suchek, to Declan Rice, get into Europe, whether it's a Europa League, League or the Champions League and I firmly do believe with five games remaining that we can still get in the Champions League guys you've only got to look at the fixtures of Chelsea and um, Leicester Liverpool have got favourable fixtures but if we go and pick up you know, 13 points from our remaining five games. I'm expecting Leicester and Chelsea to drop points because they play each other. So they're going to drop points there. We can do it, guys. We really can get the Champions League. But we probably have to win all five because of the fact that we lost to Chelsea. But going off tangent there, we just have to offer these guys a new contract. We need to improve ourselves, build upon this and show them show them that this is the right club to be, to be at and that we're a progressive club 
right now. Offer Thomas Suchek a new deal. Reject the likes of PSG. It's a farmers league. Yes, he'll be playing. He'll be playing in the Champions League. He'll be guaranteed. I'm, um, you know, maybe a league and title. Despite the fact I don't actually think they're top of the league on that right now. But we just need to offer those guys new contracts because what happens is is that clubs are going to be looking at. West Ham in like, Well, West Ham are not normally, you know, sit competing for the Champions League. So who in that team is doing very well? And they're going to see the likes of, you know, Suchek. They're going to see the likes of Declan Rice and be like, this is the core of West Ham. You know, they must be doing something right if this is the core of West Ham and they're pushing for those Champions League spots. So, guys... Make sure you hit the subscribe button for more West Ham videos. I'm trying to be a little bit more consistent with my uploads. Sorry for that, but hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the subscribe button for more. I'll catch you next time. See you later.